cannot believe it's the 25th anniversary of Freedom Youth. That's just amazing. I remember the first night back in 1995, opening the doors up for the first time. And that young person, the very first young person to come through the door, I think we had seven young people that night. And here we are 25 years later, celebrating an amazing anniversary. Freedom Youth has touched the lives of so many young people uh, particularly in Bristol, and I believe I'm right in saying it's the longest continually running LGBT youth project in the country. So that's something really important to be celebrating. And amazingly, will I still be here in 25 years' time to see the 50th anniversary? Let's see. Congratulations to everyone at Freedom Youth. I began to attend Freedom Youth in the summer of 1995. I was 23 and new to Bristol and only knew one person in the whole city. I remember the staff, Berkeley and Becky, they were lovely, warm and welcoming and made me feel accepted and comfortable in the group. I can remember doing lots of fun things. I can remember making a video around sexual health. Um, Every week was my fun week that I look forward to the most in the whole week. Groups especially youth groups, are just as important now as they were when I attended 25 years ago. Everybody involved is doing a wonderful job and it's fantastic that 25 years on, it's still going strong. Well done, guys. Keep it going for the next 25 years. Big love, Nicola. Hi, my name's Leslie Mansell and I chaired Freedom Youth for five years in its early days. In 1995, when it was set up, There were no laws to protect us. And in fact, Section 28 prevented local councils from awarding funding to any kind of lesbian and gay project, as they were known in those days. However, the lesbians and gays who founded Freedom fought and fought and managed to secure some funding. They also appointed a brilliant youth worker. At Freedom, we did things a bit differently. So we included young people on our management committee and they helped us set up the policies. While I was there, Ofsted inspected the project twice and both times they gave it a marking of excellent. They took away the policies to be, to be used as models of best practice nationally. Many young people have come through Freedom Youth and it is a fantastic project. It's great to see that it's still going after 25 years, but it's sad to know that it's still needed. Unfortunately, the homophobia, transphobia, biphobia has not gone away. And now freedom has really expanded. And I was really pleased to see at the Christmas party last year in 2019 how diverse the young people had become. And we're all so very much accepting of each other. So that was just fantastic. So a massive happy birthday to Freedom Youth. 25 years is amazing. And hopefully you'll keep up that good work for another 25 years, when hopefully by that time we will have seen that the discrimination has disappeared. Thank you. It was just over 25 years ago that I started to think about my um, sexual orientation. I was a bit too old for freedom at that time, but having gone into social work and then into social education, the very original video that Freedom um, developed with their young people, using that as a resource to train social workers. Um, so that's so important and you know, celebrating today, 25 years on, just having that visibility um, in, in the current climate especially is really important that that work is celebrated um, and continues. I was delighted to support Freedom Youth right at the start when the organisation was, was set up in the early 1990s. Funding for LGBT groups at that time was hugely controversial. It's almost hard to imagine the sheer hostility that some politicians showed to just a small amount of funding to such an important group. I was one of the people who helped defend uh, the funding to Freedom Youth at the time from the council, uh, and then again to support them for their lottery bid that really made them a sustainable organisation going forward and made them the success that it is now. In 2005, I was Bristol's first openly gay member of, of parliament, and 
In the 10 years that I was an MP, I did campaign on issues such as homophobic bullying and worked with Freedom Youth at the time. One of the reasons I did that is that I was bullied myself in school. I wish there had been something like Freedom Youth for me to turn to when I was coming to terms with my sexuality when I was a teenager. So I really congratulate the organisation on its work. I know it supports hundreds of people in Bristol every year to, who are questioning their sexuality, coming to terms with their sexuality or their gender identity. They really do important work and it's great to celebrate with them today. So Freedom Youth, everyone who works for them, everyone who volunteers for them and everyone who uses their services, happy 25th birthday. I look forward to the next 25 years. As a student, I back in the 90s, uh, I um, got involved in Freedom Youth on the placement and I was absolutely thrilled to be working alongside other LGBT plus workers as well as working with LGBT plus young people. We had such a lot of fun back in the early days. It was, it was out there on its own Freedom Youth. It was unique and it felt really special and it felt like you were on the right side of history being part of that project too, because we were able to get young people to use their voice and get involved in campaigns such as the equal age of consent for gay men for the repeal of section 28, which was quite an impressive piece of legislation back then, and gender recognition, transgender rights, and more recently equal marriage as well. So we were, we were right there with the young people helping that they'll be at the forefront because they are the future, really. They are the change makers. And they're what makes Freedom Youth as special as it is. You know, they've been some really creative young people and uh, they, there will be more creative young people to, you know, look at different ways to raise awareness and have our voices heard and train the trainers and train the educators and, you know, hopefully reduce isolation in some of the young people. So I've been really privileged and it's been a great opportunity for me to say that I've worked with Freedom Youth and I've been part of that journey and I feel very proud. I feel very proud of that organisation and the increasing visibility of LGBT plus people in society as well and groups and organisations like Freedom Youth really contribute to that visibility. So. The more we celebrate it, the better. Thank you, Freedom. You're brilliant. Continue, continue. I've known Freedom Youth on and off for about 20 years now and I've known so many people in Bristol who have been members of Freedom Youth or workers at Freedom Youth and they have such an inspiring story to tell, um, which is what we found when we wrote Free To Be Me, celebrating 21 years of Freedom Youth. It's brilliant that it's still here um, 25 years on. It's not always been straightforward, but it's kept going. There was nothing like Freedom Youth at all when I came out, which is now rather alarmingly over 40 years ago. And so what's so exciting for me is to see how Freedom Youth has kept going, how it's given so many young people the opportunity to explore who they are, to become who they want to be, and the confidence to lead fulfilling lives in Bristol and way beyond.